Dexter, a fawn-coloured French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Today, we continue our story from last week. Dexter and Eugene have just come up with a plan. Dexter, Eugene and Fifi meet Peanut at the office on the fire escape. Good morning. Peanut, Eugene came to see me last night. He wanted to have the utmost secrecy and so he did not want to talk to us in front of too many others. Okay, say hello to Fifi. Fifi hops down off Eugene's back. Whoa, you're small. Who are you calling small, Pipsqueak? All right, listen, Fifi. We will be happy to work with you, but you must not take everything so seriously. We do not have time for debates. Peanut is a giant furball. I have big ears, and you are cute and petite. Ahem. You miss me. Oh, yes. Eugene is fluffy. Fluffy? Do you not fluff? Oh, he does. And he's so soft. I love that fur. I suppose it is a nice coat. Mary, and now, back to business. Peanut, Eugene told me the imposter is planning a gathering tonight of the recruits she and Flo have so far. Fifi, you will sneak in and tell us who you see. Then we'll know who we can trust and who we can't. Good plan, but we have to get to Flo. If the imposter is left on her own, she's got no chance. It's Flo who's doing all the dirty work. We'll get that, Bunny. Yeah, we already have a plan. Oh, yeah? Well, I have one, too, and it probably works better. Doubtful. Plus, how are you going to trap her? You're the size of her little bunny cottontail. Take that back. No, enough! Yes, there can be no arguing. And certainly, no one is better than the other. Fifi, you can share your plan, and we can all work together to take out the imposter. Okay. Let's go. Fifi hops onto Eugene's back, and they head down the fire escape. Fiery little thing, isn't she? Hmm. Dexter and Peanut hop onto the stairs and catch up to their friends on the sidewalk. They go all the way uptown until they reach the reservoir in Central Park. This is where they're meeting. Fifi heard Flo talking about it to two Rottweilers. We better hide. It's getting late. They'll be here soon. Fifi, go to that column in the rotunda. On the rafters will be a good spot. You may be the king of New York, but sometimes you say the most obvious things. Of course I'm jumping onto that column and using those rafters. It's the only spot. Just go do it. Fifi runs and jumps, and before they know it, she is out of sight. Dexter, Peanut, and Eugene run into a large bush and lay down. They can see the rotunda where dogs have started gathering and where Fifi is hidden. But no one can see them. At least they hope. Dogs, rabbits, cats, birds, and even a peacock arrive. There are more of them than I thought. Me too. This is not good. They cannot see everyone, but Fifi can. She is busy taking in who has shown up, while also all the while being careful not to be seen. And then, there they are. The imposter, Flo the bunny, and Lucy Lollipop. Lucy? Mon Dieu. Hello, everyone. Good evening, and thank you all for coming. 
We have one goal and one goal only. Take down the King of New York. We don't need him. He sits on the throne of old shoes and tells us all what to do. Let's be rid of him. Yeah, so you can take over. And why not? I will be fair. I will be kind. I will... Make sure that the animals of New York rule this place and humans will bow to us. But if we remove Eugene, we must remove all those close and loyal to him. Everyone at his place in the basement of the Empire State Building and all those closest to him, the Double Eyes and Detective Dexter. In that little bin. This is not good. Now all of the dogs will be looking for us all. Let's get out of here. We will need to trap Flo tonight. There is no time to waste. They rush out from the bush and run. Fifi catches up to them. Out of the park and down to where the imposter and Flo live. They wait by a pile of trash bags. So many we know were there. We can trust no one. But not one double eye showed up. Correct. Besides Lucy Lollipop. We told her nothing. I think we can trust the corgis. Dexter pulls his skateboard out from underneath the car, and on it he has put a collar and a leash. We will use this. We will take Flo to my apartment. She can stay in the spare bedroom. No one ever goes in there. And we will find out what their ultimate plan is. Then we will figure out a way to change all the dogs' minds and the animals' minds. We cannot let the imposter win. They wait, and wait, and wait. Then, sure enough, Flo returns. She's alone. Perfect. Peanut and Dexter lasso the collar around her neck. They've got her. They keep the leash chomped tightly in their mouths. Eugene, too. And they get her on the skateboard. Off they go, down the block, a left, a right, and into an alley. Let me go. Let me go. You don't understand. Oh, we understand. This is one fight you are not going to win. They get off the skateboard and face Flo. She has my sister. She's got her. And she won't let her go until I do everything she tells me. I have to help her, don't you see? I have to save my sister. So... You are not with her? No, no, no. She is forcing me, using my sister to get me to do all her bidding. At first, I admit, (laughs) it was fun. Uh, Just innocent little stuff. But then, she really got crazy. And now, she wants to take over the city. (gasps) You gotta stop her. But if you don't let me get back, (gasps) she'll know something's wrong. And Lucy Lollipop. Best friends from puppyhood. She's not British. No, no. She's been here all along. The imposter sent her to infiltrate your circle. Yeah. Good thing we didn't say anything in front of her. So, can you help us take her down? Yes, but you've got to save my sister. We will do our best. But tell us, what is the imposter planning? Our human is taking us on vacation. We're going in the car where they slide around with those long things attached to their feet. Skiing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we get back, she's coming for Eugene's throne. I'd start with locking that place down. Hmm, dog alley too. And your office, Dixter. We will make it impenetrable. Fortresses. You must get us messages. If you do not, then there is no help for you. And I can do nothing for your sister. If we save her now, the imposter will know. I will send the pigeon with an update once every week. But we will be away for five days. That should give you time. Don't waste it. We won't. She likes attention. More than anything else, she has to have it. If you take that from her, she will have nothing. And I think you can stop her once and for all. We will have a plan. 
Now, go! Dexter takes the collar off of Flo and she runs back up the street to the building. Flo arrives just in time. The imposter has not returned yet. Dexter, Peanut and Eugene ride the skateboard back downtown. Fifi is waiting for them. Thought you guys would never make it. We have much to tell you. We must tell the double eyes. We must prepare. I will gather my closest circle. Once Fifi clears each one, we will all gather and fight this imposter together. We'll get Babs too. We'll need her. This will be one for the ages. I will never give up my throne. The Peaky Peekanese is back. Let us get a rest. And tomorrow, we get to work. That's why they call us the D-Team. More like the cheese team. Fifi! Sorry, boss. <laughs> I think we're more alike than we think. My office at First Light. We will be there.